this shit. Right, so I was in the street there, literally just walked in the street and fall to us about 20 minutes ago. On the way back up, a car stops. Just happens to be the same people that stopped me last week. Two females, one's a, she works with the lawyers, other one a prison guard. She stops the car, she calls her. She's like, Stephen, somebody in the hall was asking for you. Because obviously, like, Adville Prison is surrounded by um, female prison officers. And somebody was asking me, in fact, a lot of people has asked me this question, how is Adville Prison run? Well, the sad part is it's run with most females. It's pretty sad because, like, when you look at the LTB halls where there's, like, there's a man in TB serving three life sentences for committing three murders, there's two females in charge of that man, 24-7. The mass murderer, serial killer, in other words. I can always remember one day I was going to court. He was put in a different room for us because he was so violent. And he kicked off and, like, he asked for a coffee, black coffee with no milk and just threw it right out of the, uh, the screw's face. And this guy's very dangerous. And I can always remember one day I always got to get a medication one morning. Saturday, me and the man, you get your medication on Saturday. Sunday's your IP and possession medication. And I went out to get a medication. And my big pal called Colin, and my dad shouldn't move to eye. He came in, he attacked the governor, one of the governors. governors um, right in front of my face. Like he tried to speak to me. And when he was trying to speak to me, the governor says, Excuse me, boys, keep moving on. I said, what are you talking to? And just attack him. I was like, what the fuck? So anyway, um, I saw this um, guy, he's from Glasgow, he's then, he's sorry, West End, Glasgow, committed three murders, and I'm sitting one day eating my lunch. He sits down next to me because he got removed from the TV at the TC when I was sentenced, when I was sentenced, I should say. So he sat next to me. He's eating away, I'm eating my, my veggies. Enjoy my veggies, loads of salt, with sugar on top. And this guy's a uh, sweet fake pal, so I told him, fall to house, uh, that's the shorts. He says, I bro, right next to the shorts. You know the big, I was a I was at um, school with his daughter. And he got killed. Cool. He's, he's back in again, I said, you're joking. He said, no. I was like, what about you, how long are you doing, mate? Three eye sentences, I'm like, the fuck? So, um, he said, I come back to my cell and get a smoke. That's when, it's before, like, when you can still smoke tobacco in jail. So I went up, I had fags, so. So I went up to a fag room. Then he started to like, tell me about this, like, one of his bodies who he killed, and he like, chopped up. I'm sitting still, like, trying to process, but he just fucking, try to process my food, and I mean, trying to process what he just telling me. This guy was completely insane. It was crazy. But it was putting, like, all the folks saying to me, like, about TC, because I was in TC at one point, and it was 37 folk, went in their door, and a six week period between December and January, because folk were so scared of the hall. I used to wake up buzzing nice day, I couldn't wait to wake up the phone in the day, I used to love that hole, it was great. But I think I was institutionalised, that's what all the folks don't understand, you've got to be institutionalised before you understand jail. But it's a criminal college. It's a criminal... I used to uh, for the very first time I spent my very first day in Scotland, I'm like that. This place is a university for criminal activity, learning lessons. It's a fact. But, um, so, I. Adderwell Prison is run with females. There is obviously 25% males there, but when you look at the bigger halls, we may stay as drug dealers, gangsters, criminals, it's females that run it. And one way of beating the system in there is bribing. So you offer them some money, they will bring you in whatever you want. Hence the reason why I mean by Gary Garker from Glasgow, rest in peace, Andrew, um, for drinking vodka Christmas Day. The very last Christmas I was in. And they were fed kicked off. I can remember seeing these three guys in Glasgow beating a Livingston boy up, three against one, and the prison guards just lifted the papers up. Just like that. They started to read the newspapers. They don't want to see shit like that. Then another time when the man, when Big Andy Garko and the helicopter was on a ship that's gone to the jail, it's only caught and back to jail. Big Andy Garko and his crew, we fell, shit, they fell, you saw I, bro. Um, he done a talk show. All that kind of shit in jail. But a son kicked off. They were drawn by the fight and go straight up the stairs and be like, Andrew, Andrew, fair. There's a fight kicking off in the stairs. Why come and help us out? And the Andrew could always go back and say, I'm helping you today. I'm kicking ball with you. You can ball back to me. So you bring me on a phone tomorrow. That's how it went down, Adderwell. Anyway, 
Hoje o meu sorriso de câmera deu. Hoje o meu sorriso de câmera. Isso é o que eu tenho.